Welcome to April's monthly release highlights for Customer Identity Cloud. We will go over this month's new available features. Generally available features. Modular models for Okta FGA. Given authorization is application specific. The rules governing application authorization should be managed by the application team. Okta FGA now enables you to compose an authorization model from multiple modules. Each module is in a different file, owned by each application team. For example, if a company has three teams that own different components, the core authorization entities that are shared across the organization, a wiki component, and an issue tracking component. Each team will be able to manage their own module in independent files whose ownership can be defined in your source control system. For example, GitHub code owners. The modules will be combined in a single model when written to Okta FGA. Java Spring integration for Okta FGA. Okta fine grained authorization is now very easy to integrate with Java Spring security using the OpenFGA Spring Boot Starter. In a nutshell, you can now use the at preauthorized Spring security annotation with an FGA bean that will require an authorization check to pass before executing a method. You can learn more in the OpenFGA Spring Boot Starter repository. Authorization for FGA Store Credentials A store is an octa fine grained authorization entity used for organizing data needed to answer authorization checks. Today, a single credential is issued for each FGA store. However, in production scenarios, you may want to provide different credentials for specific applications. For example, some apps need full permissions, others write permissions, read permissions, or permissions to update the authorization model. You can now create multiple credentials for an Okta FGA store with different sets of permissions. So whether your client-facing application only needs read access, while your continuous integration deployment needs the ability to write an authorization model, you are in control of security from the Okta FGA dashboard. Let's wrap up with a look at early access features. Introducing Web Content Accessibility Guidelines Compliance for Universal Login. We want to make it easy for our customers to adhere to meet their compliance goals. This opt-in, early access release includes several accessibility improvements to Universal Login. We will also be rolling out more improvements over the coming weeks. Once opted in, these improvements will be automatically applied to Universal Login as they are released. This release includes the following improvements. Client-side validation of email addresses. These validations follow the same formatting rules as the server-side validation. Accessible labels. We cleaned up the duplicate labels in the HTML and properly associated them with their respective input fields. Password complexity requirements. These will now be properly announced by screen readers. Announce inline error message. We added the proper area attributes to the inline error messages so that they can be understood and properly announced by screen readers. Consistent page titles. Every screen in our authorization flows now has a useful and distinct page title. Visually indicate required fields. Required fields now include a visual indicator within the label. JWT Access Tokens Profiles. This release makes it easier to onboard to Okta Customer Identity Cloud from other systems or solutions. Customers don't need to adjust the access token validation on their resource servers to understand customer identity cloud access tokens or to do less adaptations. It also allows using standard based SDK and tools. Thanks for viewing the customer identity cloud monthly release highlights. Information and documentation on the latest updates can be found at auth0.com changelog.